Hello lovely people. I actually did that first time. <laughs> I married and I still did it. Welcome. If you are new to the channel, hi, I'm Jessica kaugan fozard I know, it's a tricky surname to pronounce. I make videos about life with a chronic illness and disabilities, but sometimes I don't, like today's video, which is sponsored by Surfshark. Today we're going to be studiously ignoring the rising sense of panic we may or may not be feeling. And if you're feeling like you're totally over this entire thing and you just don't care enough to panic anymore because you have reached the end of your emotional bandwidth, then that is a totally valid feeling too. I haven't left my house in over a month now with the exception of some very fun car journeys around the neighborhood and back to my house. So I've thrown together a list of things that I've been really enjoying. And in the comments, you can share your own lists and we're gonna help each other out by just spreading some joy. <sighs> Well, sometimes I'm like a parody of myself. Moving swiftly on, and in no real order despite the fact I put them in numerical descending order, 10, having my best friend around to hang out with every day. I'm a very fortunate human in that I am actually married to my BFF and she lives with me. So we get to have fun together every single day and I don't ever have to be in different rooms or more than a meter apart because she used to go to work and that sucked because we didn't really like being away from each other for more than five minutes. And yes, that is the most lesbian thing ever. But did I mention she's really cool? So number 10 is just codependency and I'm okay with that. Nine, making IGTV videos. Who knew? I completely poo-pooed IGTV when it first came out and there are still many things that I find annoying about it. Still doesn't have integrated captions, why? But since lockdown started, I found it much easier to work up the creative juices to make short form, fun, cute little videos on IGTV. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, my handle is at Jessica at the closet. I think it's partly because I feel more pressure when it comes to long form video content like this and I want to talk about the current situation but at the same time I don't. I just want to carry on like normal. But then it wouldn't be weird to carry on as normal and just not reference anything. Like the fact I'm wearing a sling. Just look at my shoulder a lot in the last week. And at the same time, there's just so much going on in my head right now and it's hard to be creative and have the bandwidth to make things. But also this is my job, so I can't really tell my boss that I want to miss one of my twice weekly uploads, even though my boss is me, but also you. But at the same time, creating things makes me really happy and it gives structure to my week, so. Making cute IGTV has just sparked my creativity for longer things like this, which is actually pretty great when you think about it. Eight, watermelon gloop. I'm not a super makeup obsessed person. I think we all know that my grasp of skincare routines is slim. And I've seen lots of IGTV makeup videos that feature gloop in pipettes and I have never once wanted to have my own. But then Becca Cosmetics sent me this glow nectar and I'm in love. Not just because it's sparkly gloop, I swear, I do actually have more nuance than a magpie. It's really lightweight, it smells delicious, and my skin just loves it. Also, it means I get to say the word gloop over and over, which is just excellent. Gloop. Seven, Grey's Anatomy. Have I mentioned Grey's Anatomy enough in recent videos? Yes? Well, that's okay, because I'm going to talk about Private Practice. Private Practice is a spin-off from Grey's Anatomy featuring Addison Montgomery, formerly Addison Montgomery Shepherd, who was a pretty kick-ass neonatal surgeon on Grey's Anatomy, but then she got her own show, Private Practice, which was also a kick-ass neonatal surgeon, and that's the kind of thing they say on the show, but they say kick-ass because they're American. She's one of my favorite characters and apparently there are a lot of character crossovers. So it's really important that I watch all of Private Practice so it can feed into my Grey's Anatomy addiction. But unfortunately, Private Practice ended in 2013, which means it's pretty difficult to find online. Happily though, I have a solution and today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN app and browser extension that allows you to access the internet safely and without barriers. A virtual private network encrypts your data when you log onto the public Wi-Fi, meaning that hackers can't gain access. It also hides your IP, meaning you can set your location to anywhere in the world and thus watch videos that are available in those countries but aren't in yours, like private practice on American Netflix. Because we all need Addison Montgomery in our lives. You'll also be able to unlock some great content that's here on YouTube, no matter which device you're watching from, because Surfshark's VPN is the only one that lets you use one account across unlimited devices. Meaning I can watch private practice on my phone, my iPad, my laptop, and my desktop. As great as it is to have access to my favorite TV shows, a VPN just also adds an extra layer of security when you're online, keeping all of your passwords, photos, and videos safe. 
And it's not just malicious data stealing you'll be protected from, Surfshark will also defend you from tracking, surveillance, and commercial targeting. No malware, no phishing, no insecurity when you're online banking. Lots of medical related dramas. Not sure you'll find one about dentists, but let me know if you do. Just click the link in the description of this video and use code JESSICA for 83% off plus one extra month for free. And Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So that, I mean, there's really no harm in trying it. Six. This tree, it's a really cool tree. We haven't lived in our new house for 12 months yet, so it's just really lovely to see the garden going through all of the seasons. Plus the garden is really important to us right now since we are on lockdown and our house looks like this. Mm. The end of the garden means a lot to us right now. And this tree in particular is very special because I have always wanted to own a tree, particularly one that's older than I am. And this one is a beauty. I loved sitting in its shade last summer and watching the leaves go to brown in autumn. I waited all winter for it to come back to life. And this spring I've learned that it has blossoms that are in this kind of funny yellowy colour. I would like to put a circular bench under the tree and just turn the space behind it into a special area for my roses. The garden's going to be our next project. Obviously. Once everything's out of it. Five. This cape is finally getting an outing. My good friend Jenny gave me this vintage nurse's cape because she knew I would give it love and I've been waiting for just the right time to use it. And now it's been given a chance to go to work as you saw in my coronavirus myth busting video. Congratulations cape. You've made it. Four, Besame highlighter. I'm not normally a highlighter person. I may be such a not highlighter person. You can't actually see the highlighter that I've put on my face. It's not a lot of highlighter, okay, but it's there. Just believe it's there. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? It's there. Okay, anyway. But yeah, highlighter scares me a little, and so I only put a tiny bit on. But I've decided I just like highlighter now. Who knew? And uh, I like this one the best. This little beauty is from Besame's limited edition Mermaid Lagoon collection. They make really amazing ranges based on vintage Disney properties like the Sleeping Beauty palette that I showed you in December. But this is one of my absolute favorites. It's so cute. Three, having a really good excuse to order takeaway. I get weird about food and its cost. Sometimes it's a thing. I will waste my time working out which box of apples is 0.003p cheaper and then go for that one even though I actually like the other one better. But hey, there's a massive global drama going on right now and I have much bigger things to worry about. So apparently I am just really appreciating an excuse to put this one hang up on hold, so. <sighs> also, this is what my kitchen looks like right now and getting groceries is a little, ah, ah but definitely better than before. So thank you to everyone who really helped us to figure out solutions for that. Ah, so I don't, I don't really have the space right now to be choosy about where my food is coming from or panic too much about the cost. I can just focus on looking after myself. And if I'm too stressed about potentially getting ill to cook and my wife is too stressed about me potentially getting ill to cook, then yay, there are many restaurants currently delivering. Self-care is important. Oh, but a tiny bit of me deep inside wants to yell, first world problems, and then run away. I mean, it's just a tiny bit though, so. Progress. Please order often from your local Chinese owned businesses because they're not doing so well right now, thanks. Two, people respect our healthcare professionals more. As someone whose continued existence is very much thanks to the National Health Service and comes from a medical family and is married to an NHS worker, I have a deep respect for those in the medical field, especially at times like this. We often hear politicians talking about cuts to the NHS, like it's just something tiny and insignificant and we just have to get over it. But it's a vital part of the UK and we are very lucky to have it. If there's one sure good thing to come out of the coronavirus, it's just a renewed appreciation for healthcare professionals and those who support them. As such, on the 30th of April, I'm going to be taking part in a huge fundraising live stream with many other YouTubers to raise money for the NHS. It will be available to everyone for free on the YouTube Originals channel. And there'll be loads of challenges, performances, and surprises from 4 until 8 p.m. I'll keep you updated on Twitter, but make sure you subscribe to the YouTube Originals channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Number one, Walter and Tilly. Thank you to my dogs for doubling the number of souls living in my house right now and being a great source of inspiration and comic relief, mainly that. Sometimes I'll just be standing there brushing my teeth and then I turn around to see Walter, who moves completely silently, standing there glaring at me from the dark like a furry waxwork of Dobby the house elf and then I scream in surprise, but then I laugh, so. I guess that's more of a horror movie than a comedy. 
But they are also really, really cute. So please enjoy a montage of my dogs. Thank you so much for watching this video, even if it was essentially a glorified favourites video. I hope you've really enjoyed it. I release new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, so I will see you in my next one. Mwah!